Being One with the Silence, a poem. It's a lonely life. I eat alone. I rest alone. I do everything alone. library of books and I'm paralyzed by screens. A cast of people who care but I don't know what any of it means. I'm banner when calm but my rage is green. I journal and confess my sins to the universe. I go to therapy and listen with the intent to heal and I try. I try and I try. And I can still barely feel anything, really. Fleeting moments of joy. Sparks of a flame that won't ignite. Marks of a brain I have to fight. I'm tired, but I keep going. keep pursuing my path. The good. The hope that is still there, even if all I see is a pinhole of light and a void, even if all I feel is despair, I keep fighting for a better future, even if I'm blind in the dark. I wish a whale's peace, but feel the hunger of a shark still. I used to be a dreamer. I used to dream so much I was a believer. I believed in myself. My ego grew and grew, bigger and stronger. I thought I was him. <laughs> but began to ponder what the hell that even meant, all things considered about who and what I have been. I am no saint. I'm a smiling sinner. A mundane life with a nuclear mind, and sometimes I want blood for dinner. Living day to day, detached from time, the things I've thought, the things I've said, the things I've done, all in my head. My art, my writing, my actions and memory. The good, the bad in particular, the negative history. The love I abandoned. In truth, in hindsight, I think I could have stayed. Like jumping on a grenade for the people that you love in the moment, but actually, in reality, get blown the fuck up and it's just over with. And you're still wondering why and how the fuck you're still here. But I did what I had to do. I left a love I dared not bring too close to such a bomb. I told myself I would never hurt her, yet still felt in the back of my mind that it could go so, so wrong. I've been a killer in many lifetimes, worse in others. I've butchered men and women, sisters and brothers. A past life regression, a harbinger of hell. A devil with a dinner bell, an angel that fell. A new true crime case to discover, another nightmare next door. A headline of dread to numbly scroll past and make you double check the locks on all your doors. But in this timeline, I choose peace. I choose peace above violence. I avoid brewing in anger and stewing in silence, or at least I try to.
I will climb the thread that the spider has cast because I'm true to my light. I'm not the devil incarnate. I try and I choose Christ and Buddha and Brahma to guide me through the dark night of the soul when the demons are frightening and it feels I have nowhere to go. I choose light. My hands have no stains, and my mind is just simply scarred. But to accept and forgive and move on is so, so fucking hard. <laughs> and the hate and the anger and the world as it is is so, so much to fucking bear. And sometimes all it feels like I can do to contribute is just fucking stare. do nothing. Watch it all. You just have to survive all the shit and the fog and the pain, even if the only way that I can feel is to listen to the rain. On a 24-hour video posted on the internet. Because... I'm just too scared to choose love, just to lose it again. I'm too scared to choose love, just to lose it again. It's a lonely life, and I run marathons of thought and silence. I get home from work and de-stress with violence. The media I consume is an output, not a cause. But even then, sometimes I do need to stop and take a pause and embrace the silence. And be with myself for a bit. Remind myself of where I'm at in life along the zero to seventy year spectrum of human existence. And it's hard, it's not easy to sit with it when you feel like it could be so much more, when you want adventure but you smoke weed when you're bored. To find peace, to find gratitude, to find love, to find hope. To feel free, to feel happy, to feel love, to feel hope. When everything is quiet, you have to sit with yourself by the light of a single bulb and ask spirit to mirror, how is your self? Who are you truly and what do you want? I am my own spirit, and my body I haunt. And I feel like a poltergeist at times, kicking and knocking around my own body, jumping from hobby to hobby, just trying to pass the time, and it works. I get into a flow, that fleeting joy appears once more, and I know I'm all right for a bit. Nothing hurts. And then time passes. And what was once engaging becomes a self-aware distraction from the fact that my life has no action, no adventure, no stories to tell over a table of friends. And I feel the inaction, I feel the restlessness, the entropy of my consciousness boiling up in my head. And then I'm reminded again of how quiet it is within the silence. It's a lonely life, and I live it in silence. But I promise the universe, I promise you, that the only thing I fear more than love is submitting to violence.
It's a lonely life, and I live for a better future where life feels free, and I can be me and flamboyantly create and support the world like a bee giving my share of honey to the hive. A life where I will thrive, where I feel like I'm at home, and I feel like I'm alive. A new page of all of our history, as if I was sent from above. A kick-ass story of triumph and love. That's what I want to be. But I still have to trek through the valleys to reach the mountains up high, and here I sit in the shadows looking up at the sky, my death a blip in a valley as the moon sets the night, the sun rising up with a gold ray of light. And I know, or at least I hope, that I will be the hope that the world needs an example of. But sometimes it feels like I guide others to a treasure I cannot possess, and that treasure is love. But I'm still here, and I'm still young, and I'm still fighting, and I'm still trying. And I'm going to reach for that hope and that love every day. Every day that I'm dying, till it's done. My name is Avalon. Thank you.